Okay. So you want to do an intake on your 8.1. Uh, if it has EGR, there's these two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the. Let's see if I can shine a light in there. Yeah, you can kind of see it. This is stupid dipstick tube's right in the way. Right there, that tube that goes into the EGR cooler. There's two 10 millimeter bolts. I got one out already. I got to get the. So you use a short 10 millimeter quarter inch drive in the front and a long in the back. That's how I take it off. Saves you the hassle trying to get all that out. And once you get the intake off, especially if you're deleting it, you can, it's two 13s that hold that whole assembly together. Okay, so you got that. Got the train. So I normally take the alternator off. Um, Altmaner. On the 0102, it has this uh, TPS and then the separate motor. This, uh, carefully, it's a little slot tab here. You push it. You push it and then slide it up. Then you got your refuel lines, your injector harness. You take your, there's a bolt here. And there's a stud that holds out assembly on. And every one of these I've done on 8.1, the stud stays in. So I just use a 10 millimeter gear wrench and slowly unscrew it because it sits on top of that. Until it comes out. And then this is out. You unplug your EGR uh, plug. Got all that done. So now all I got left is 10. 10 millimeter bolts. There's five on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and five on the other side. And once you get that done, I usually just stick a pry bar here. And if it's got silicone or anything, I just pry the silicone up. Uh, this has the early gaskets on it. They are plastic. Um, if they ain't broke, I reuse them, but I reuse them with ultra gray because the... Uh, Little silicone will shrink. I'm trying to find the other intake gaskets I got. They were sitting around here somewhere. Give me a minute. It might be over here. I don't know. And these are the updated ones. Where the hell are they? As soon as I find them, they were sitting on this motor when I took it. Oh, I know where they're at. Sorry for the shakiness. I don't have, I'm using my phone. These are the updated ones. Let me take them out in the sun so you can see them. So the other ones are plastic. These are the updated ones. And I, I honestly, I'm not fond of either. Uh, they're metal, they're real thin metal. They bend really easy. I've seen these uh, split. So, either way, I try to use uh, a light coat of Ultra Gray, especially across the bottom, so it doesn't suck any oil from the valley. And then I always try to tie it into the um, top of the block. I don't use the rubber um, uh, little spacers they give you. They get hard and they leak. So I always do that. And there's two versions of this gasket. There's this version with this hole, the flat hole. And they make some of the some of the eight ones had replacement heads put on, and they had a deeper bolt hole. The gasket will have this uh, bump, so the gasket will sit down in those holes, and they have a, a longer bolt, which is a black bolt. This like this this engine has the gray bolts. These are the shorter bolts. So I know it has the not deeper heads, but if you get one and it has black bolts in it, then it uses the gaskets with the little bump on them here, and then just reuse the black bolts. But that's a, that's that's one of the little fine differences, and I don't know when they started doing that. 
I know there was a TSB about it, and sometimes dealers would put them on. I've never seen it done, but I know there is a TSB about it. But it's really confusing because they tell you, you some people are under the impression you use you get these gaskets and you use longer bolts, and no, you'll break the bolts off before you uh, get crushed on the gasket. So, so that's how you get it off.